Welcome to the tutorial on Electric VLSI Design System. In this tutorial, we'll see the how to make the tool to work or you can call it as Introduction to the Electric VLSI Design System. Here, I will explain what are the softwares or interfaces required to activate the tools. I have created a folder by name electric. You can place this folder anywhere. You can create the folder anywhere. So I will double click it so that I can have the required softwares in order to make the tool work. The first and foremost thing is nothing but you need a electric jar executable file. So this is a software which is work or which works on the Java. So the latest is electric 9.07 and what you require is Java setup is required. First you have to perform the Java setup. Once the Java setup is completed, you can directly run this tool and to view the results. To view the results, it does not have a inbuilt simulator. That's why we are using the LT Spice, which is nothing but from the linear technology. They are providing this freeware tool called as the LT Spice. This is the older version. This is the newer version. And what you require is you require a technology file to perform the CMOS circuit simulation as well as the layout this is called as the electric symbol or you can call it as icon icon of that now in order to view the 3d design views you can have the java 3d installed in your system so these are the requirements in order to make the tool work once the tool once the java is installed in your system what you have to do is you can right click onto this then go to the new create or click on shortcut asking for the browse go to the browse since i have placed the particular folder on the desktop so you can click on this and you can select the electric jar file hit ok and it says next then finish now you are since you ha I have installed already the Java version, now it is showing that it is a Java file, but it is not the actual symbol of your electric tool. So you can change the symbol by right click, properties, change icon, browse, you can select this particular icon, say open, ok okay now this is the electrical switch symbol that's why the name got as electric since i have installed the java and i have installed the lt lt spice software also so you can see this if i double click it i have already installed the lt spice for viewing the result now if I double click on this, it opens the electric tool. This is the default view of the electric and we have a work area here. A work area, this is called as my work area and this window is nothing but error log window. Whatever the error comes, I can view here. Everything I can view here. On the left side, you can see the layer components. If I am in the layout mode, all this gets enabled. Once I am in a schematic mode, all these will be changed into a symbol. Now, you can change the color of this particular window by going into the window, color schemes. You can change it to black background as well as you can change back to white background or you can restore it to its default view you can restore it to 
default view so all these are possible next what we do is before going to that we have to perform some interfaces so that this tool can work efficiently to do that what you have to do is go to the file next click preferences or you can go to this particular setting symbol known as preferences hit that button or that icon it opens a window with the different settings here we have different settings available under the general what you have to do is a slight modification see for small design this memory is sufficient but whenever the design gets bigger set this particular memory to 512 MB 512 MB next go to the tools section go to the tools section you have to check the NCC network consistency check whether the design transistors are equal or not that is nothing but your layout versus schematic so enable this enable this by clicking enable this check transistor sizes ok click next go to the spice cdl spice or cdl here your lt spice engine has to be set now go to this select the spice engine there are many types of spice engines starting from spice 2 to various types that is spice opus spice h spice p spice but what we are using is we are using the spice 3 level 3 and in order to see the parasitics what I am going to select is for normal simulation of layout or schematic I can go with this option of trans area or perimeter only now if I want to extract the RC parameters of layout I can go to conservative RC you have to enable this if you want to extract that for default, I will keep this as trans area or perimeter only. Next, go to the this particular tab and see you select the run and ignore output. So, since we are simulating the circuit many times, what will happen is you have to run the circuit many times. That's why what you have to do, we have to run it as well as ignore the output. We are not losing because we have to create many menu files. For that case we are using this option and here the run program this is where your LT spice path is given I have shown this here also you have it is placed or it is installed in location C program files LTC LT spice and this version with dot exe so you have to place this particular path here so that you can use the LT spice if you are having the H spice then you can place the same thing now in this case I am using the LT spice so yeah, I have placed only the LT spice path and this argument has to be placed here here I have shown the argument also this argument has to be placed either you can type it or you can just download it from the internet as well now why we are placing is because I will have many number of files created during the execution that's why I have given the run and ignore output so it is going to create many raw file as the output you can see dot raw as well as dot out that's why I have to give this or pass this arguments into the this location next go to the well check you have to select only this option of that is for p well must connect to ground this option has to be selected for better simulation next go to the technology tab or folder in that you can click the technology by that what happens is you can select the number of metal layers that is to be used in your design 
here we have metal layer 4 but if i hit this we are, i am made available with layer 2 3 4 5 that means as i go deep into the technology i can increase the number of metal layers next i can select the analog here i have to select the analog that means this tool not only performs the digital it also selects the analog so in this case i have taken the four layer now why i have taken the four layer is based on the scaling i am using the 180 nanometer technology here 180 nanometer technology that's why i have preferred only the four layers to use once i set all this you can see here by by entering the 180 nanometer it gets enabled here so this is where you have to enable the technology once a setting of all these things is done you are ready for performing the simulation or use your tool so click ok apply and ok once it is ready the tool looks like this here I can show you how the 3D window is activated by using your Java 3D. A small example. So I will go to the window. I can show the option as 3D window 3D view. But to see that you have to select one of the layer. So what I will do is go to the window. I will change the color schemes to white background. And I can select this particular or before that you have to go to the cell create new cell select the option as layout and give any file name of your choice now you place this particular metal 1 metal 2 con uh, layer and or you can call it as contact then you can see the view of it go to the window 3d window java 3d so this shows your java 3d that means top layer shows it is a it is a you can see this top layer is nothing but your metal one and bottom layer is your metal two so you can view in this fashion also or i will place few more you can see this metal you can see this or i can use metal one metal two so like that you can see this in a 3d view also set this so you will have this a 3d view of layers so this is a, this is a good practice to view what is happening actually or if i want to see the mos transistors how the mos is placed i'll show you with mos as well as nmos and pmos together you can go to the window 3d window 3d view so this is how your transistor looks as well as the metal layers so once you complete this your tool is ready to use with many options so this is about the installation procedure for electric vlsi design system we'll continue it thank you for watching